All right, so I gotta tell you right now, at the very beginning of this review, the Huawei P30 Pro is a Huawei Mate 20 Pro Plus, and that's not out of the ordinary. Usually the Huawei Mate series upgrades the SoC, adds a bunch of gizmos and features, but what the Huawei P series is really about is taking all the awesome parts of the Mate series and adding a really, really stellar camera system. And when I say the Huawei P30 Pro is a Mate 20 Pro, I'm not kidding. It still has the same Kirin 980 SoC, it still has all that same storage and RAM, it's got the in-screen fingerprint reader, the 40 watt charging, reverse wireless charging, you're, you're getting all the same features that you get in the Huawei Mate 20 Pro in the Huawei P30 Pro in this really nice fashion forward body and a body that really, really focuses on the cameras. And when I say this phone focuses on the cameras, oh gosh, do I mean it. They, there is so much to unpack here. First and probably foremost, you're still getting that 40 megapixel camera that was in the Huawei P20 Pro and the Mate 20 Pro, but probably the biggest change here is actually a difference to the actual camera array. So the regular camera system, you've got one red, two green, and a blue pixel that makes up this Bayer Array filter sensor, and that basically interprets light and turns it into color. Now what Huawei's done here is completely redefined what it means to take in color with one red, two yellow, and one blue sensor. Now the reason they've done this is because in the Huawei P20 Pro they had a monochrome sensor that was able to take in more detail and apply that to the image, and the results were amazing. But what you're getting here is in that yellow sensor you actually get more information that you would get from a normal green sensor. It captures extra red data and then kind of interprets all that information into color and gives you the extra detail that you would normally get from something like a monochrome sensor. And the results are pretty amazing. There is a crazy amount of detail in these images, and part of that's because of that 40 megapixel sensor. And by default, the phone is actually set to a 10 megapixel result image, which pretty much is able to take groups of four pixels and bring them into one super pixel, which takes in way more light data. In combination with the RYB sensor, you're just getting a ton of light information that you normally wouldn't get in a smartphone camera. So the other major change in the Huawei P30 Pro's camera is this new Periscope 5X optical zoom. You've probably heard a lot about it. Basically what they're doing is taking a little prism mechanism and putting it inside of the camera sensor. And that way they're able to reflect the light at about 90 degrees so they can actually flip the camera sensor 90 degrees and fit it inside the phone. It's pretty amazing technology and it works extremely well. Now this is optical zoom, so theoretically you shouldn't really be losing any quality. And when you switch to the 5X optical mode, it looks clear as day. It honestly looks as if you're using the 1X zoom because it is true optical zoom. Now there's also a 10X AI slash optical mode, which basically super samples those 5X zooms and then adds additional information on the edges. And it looks equally amazing. Honestly, if you needed to use your phone for 10X zoom and still want to get a crystal clear image, this is kind of the phone you're gonna have to get to get that result. Now there's also a 50x zoom mode, but you probably don't want to use that unless you really need to read information super far away. But it is really cool to have a phone that you can basically use as a telescope. Now like pretty much any Huawei phone, it does suffer a little bit from overexposure, but if you drag the exposure down on any individual image, you just get a ton of detail. And if you've been on AndroidAuthority.com or Twitter in the last few days, you've probably seen the absolutely outrageous amount of low light photos that have been posted using this phone. And I'll say it right now, this is the best low light camera on the market today in a smartphone. You can compete this head to head against Google Pixel's Night Sight and it's it's better. I, I don't know what to say, it's just better. The noise is lower, it just brings up the images as if there's light in the scene. I took these photos in a crazy dark room, in a crazy dark scene outside and it looks like they were taken during the day. It's just ridiculous. Ready? Wow. Wow. And this applies to video as well. There's almost no noise seen in these really, really low light situations in video. And if you're a very heavy video user on your smartphone, this is gonna be the phone to beat for that as well. So one aspect of the Huawei P30 Pro that I was really, really surprised about is the amazing video stabilization. Now I don't talk about video a lot in my reviews, but as you can see, this is being shot on a Huawei P30 Pro right now, and it is extremely smooth. It basically feels like it's on a gimbal, which is just insane. I think it's using the wide camera and then cropping in and just using a combination of OIS and EIS. But as you can see, like the lighting is really good. The exposure is good on my face. It's good on the background. And it really evens out the highlights and the shadows to produce a really nice image that is extremely stable. 
So besides that 5x optical zoom lens and that standard 40 megapixel lens, you've also got a wide angle lens. And it's not quite as wide as the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. It is still decently wide and it's really nice to have that ability to have those kind of shots. But if you want something crazy, crazy wide, you're gonna have to go for the Samsung Galaxy S10. You've also got a time of flight sensor in the back of this phone, which helps with things like portrait mode. The portrait mode on this phone still isn't quite as good as Google's Pixel portrait mode, but it is quite a bit better than a lot of other phones we've seen so far. And you can also use portrait mode in video now, which is something that I've been waiting to see for a while. You've also got a crazy high resolution selfie camera on this phone that shows a ton of detail, and I really like the color processing in it. Although I'm not really sure I want to see that much detail in my face, but honestly, the more megapixels, the better. Now, I definitely would have liked to see a hole punch style display in this phone, just like we saw in the Galaxy S10. It is using a water drop notch display, just kind of like we've seen in pretty much every 2018 phone, so that just feels a tiny bit outdated, but that's honestly personal preference. Now, as far as power and processing goes, this phone is really amazing. It's pretty much exactly the same as the Huawei Mate 20 Pro because it's still using that same Kirin 980 chip. Now, this phone does have a slightly bigger battery than the Huawei Mate 20 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S10, but its battery life is just amazing. I got about 10 hours of screen on time on this phone, which is absolutely insane. I'm not sure that I've gotten 10 hours of screen on time in my first run on any phone ever. And I know that a lot of people don't really like screen on time as a metric of battery percentage. So I'll put this into perspective. I took my phone off the charger at about 9 a.m., used it all day, I'm a relatively heavy user, stayed up until 4 a.m. just like browsing Reddit and Instagram and all that stuff because I couldn't fall asleep, went to bed, woke up in the morning, used the phone until about noon or one, and finally got it to 5% so I could take that screenshot. And that is pretty much true two-day battery life. I don't think that I've seen a phone that has actually enabled true, true two-day battery life where I could use it for two straight days without it dying, but the Huawei P30 Pro really checks that box. And the other absolutely amazing thing is the 40 watt supercharge that this phone has available to it. When this phone got to 5%, I put it on the supercharger, got in the shower to take a shower, and when I got out, it was at like 65 or 70%. And that's just unreal. Like the ability to charge your phone up to 70% while you're in the shower after it gets down to 5% after two days, you're pretty much not gonna have to worry about battery life in your phone anymore. And if you were hoping for a slightly smaller phone, Huawei has you covered there as well. They've also got the Huawei P30, which is a smaller phone. It's got a headphone jack. <laughs> The only thing that it doesn't have is the Prism 5X optical zoom. It's a 3X optical zoom, but it actually does better at three times than the Huawei P30 Pro because it's actually optical at 3X where the P30 Pro is only optical at 5X. So if you're like 99% of the other consumers on this planet, you probably mostly care about the camera and the battery life. And honestly, the Huawei P30 Pro feels like the phone to beat in 2019 so far in both of these aspects. It's got an absolutely stellar camera system which can see in the dark. I don't think I've seen any phone that can do low light performance as well as the Huawei P30 Pro. And the fact that you can charge this thing up in just a few minutes and it will last a full two days is absolutely insane. It's definitely one of my favorite phones of the year so far. We'll see if something else decrowns it, but until next time, I'll see you in the next video.